got a big bag, let me change that Show me with your friends at, we can get that Let me put you on the game Let me put you on the game I'll show you where the red at, where the blue at Show me where they flip that, where they bitch at Let me put you on the game Let me put you on the game The point being, guys, is you're not going to meet the quality of chicks you want doing everything online. It's just no way around it. Now, when I was younger, guys, so I have a confession to make to all you young guys now, right? Clubs and lounges have gotten a bad rap. That's right. I said it. That's right. Now, Here's the thing. I know clubs are full of attention whores. I, I get it. I know it's full of a bunch of girls who just dare to wear short dresses and get attention. And I listen, I get all that. But guys, I'm going to say it here right now so you guys understand. They are a necessary evil if you want to get the chicks that you want to attract. I'm just going to say it like that right now. Now, the natural course of thing is to meet women doing your, you know, living your life, doing your activities, just doing things you love to do. That's good. But we all know that a lot of the activities we love to do don't involve a lot of women. So I'll say it again, guys. When I was young, we understood that going to clubs and lounges were a necessary evil. There's no way around it. Most of you guys don't like sitting in the classroom getting a skill or a trade or whatever, education. But you do it because you know that's the way you're going to obtain the financial success that you want because you know it's a necessary evil. And so I go to the same thing with women, guys. Going to clubs and lounges, this ain't for you. This is more like advanced. This is for guys that have done the groundwork. They make their six figures a year, but they still ain't banging the type of chicks that they want to bang. And I am telling you what it's going to take. You guys have got to embrace the lounges and the clubs. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Alex. Shout out to the Elite Fleet. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can become a member of the Elite Fleet. And we got to talk about this AMS video because AMS was out here capping. One of my mans hit me up and he was like, yo, I haven't watched AMS in a minute. I was watching one of his videos and it kind of rubbed me the wrong way because he was basically saying going to the club or going to lounges is a necessary evil if you want to find attractive women. And I was just like, yo, you just gave me a topic. I'm about to cook on that now. And AMS's defense, when he sent me the video, you know, I watched it. It was from one of his subscribers who said that he's introverted. He already has his life together. He already has his money right and stuff. He just needs to know where to meet women and women don't like to do the things that he likes to do. So he needs to know where they're at. Now, I find it very hard to believe that in all your hobbies and interests, women don't partake in any of them. You don't see any women there, but I'm going to give them the gift of gab. And I'm just going to say AMS's response is basically the club is a necessary evil. And to meet women, especially nines and tens, you basically have to go to the club. That's cap. That's cap, okay? Now listen, before I tell y'all all the other places that women frequent, fine ass women frequent besides just the club because for some reason y'all swear that women are one track minded and all they do is just go to work and then come home and shake their ass and they don't have no other interest and there's nothing else they'll do. I wanna say this because AMS brought up, oh y'all thinking about ratchet clubs or hole in the law clubs where you know low value women are at. There's upscale clubs and there's upscale lounges. It does not matter if it's an upscale lounge or club anyway. It's still a dumb decision to pick up women at the club. Now I already did a whole video on this when I talked about drunk and hot girls and why that's a bad decision. So I'm not gonna recap that whole thing. I'm gonna give you a very short version. There's only two ways you're really approaching women when you approach 
host them at a nightclub or a lounge, okay? And one is to take them home that night, which is a mistake because you're taking home a drunk girl. She's probably not gonna remember this. Even if she does remember and she's not that drunk, she's gonna pretend that she is. If you take her to your house, you take her to her house, it doesn't matter. If she wakes up with regret, that's a me too case waiting to happen, okay? And maybe she doesn't wake up with regret, but she might find out that some dude that she really likes seeing her going back and thinks she's a slut. Now she got regret. She's gonna say you did something to her. She might find out all her friends know she went home with you. Now she feels regret. She's gonna say you did something to her. There's so many levels of where she might say that you forced herself upon her when you're dealing with drunk girls. Guys, 70%, 70% of sexual assault, grape, molestation, all those cases on men come from drunk women in nightclub environments and bar environments and lounge environments, okay? This is not a place where you want to meet women, okay? And two, if you don't take her home that night, which is what I always recommend if you go out and you see a fine girl, get her number, that's still a thorn in the ass because the next day she was probably drunk, so she's probably not going to remember who you are. You're going to text her like, hey, yo, what's good? This Sean from the club, remember me? She's going to be like, no, can you send a picture? You're gonna send a picture. The picture gonna be ugly because we don't take good pictures. You're gonna send a picture like this and she's not gonna talk to you no more. And even if she do, you're starting from scratch. So it defeats the whole entire purpose of even meeting her in the club in the first place, okay? But let's get back to the core of this, which is if you want nines and tens and you wanna meet attractive women, it's a necessary evil to go to the club. No, it's not. There's plenty of other places you can go to meet women besides the club, guys. First of all, are we not gonna talk about church? You better go and get your Jubilee Jubilee on, start high-stepping. Listen, there's a whole bunch of fine-ass women at the church. A whole bunch of them. And even if you do just think, oh, I don't want to deal with no uptight chick from the church, it's a whole bunch of freaks at the church, too. So you got fine women. You got freaks at the church. You got women who looking for marriage. A lot of times, they'll go to the church. So if you're looking for a relationship or a marriage, you can scope that girl out, a girl who's ready to settle down at the church. There's some good girls in the church. Okay, just like there's some freaks, there's some good girls in the church. So if you're looking for a good girl, they in the church. You're looking for the baddies, they in the church. All types of women are in the church. And it doesn't matter what religious institution you practice, okay? It could be a mosque. It could be wherever. It doesn't matter. There's still going to be fine, eligible, single bachelorettes at any church environment. And that's not the club, okay? Yoga and Pilates classes. I know some of y'all going to be like, oh, I ain't going to no yoga and Pilates class because that's gay. First of all, no, it's not. Yoga and Pilates is spiritual and actually helps bring you closer to God. But that's neither here nor there. It's not gay. It's good for your muscles. It stretches you out. It helps relieve stress. And there are tons of fine-ass women in yoga and Pilates classes. And if you've ever been to a yoga or a Pilates class, it's actually encouraged for you to talk, for you to mix, for you to mingle, for you to help each other out with different positions and stuff like that. So it's very easy to ice break and start a conversation or get a conversation going with a female in a yoga or a Pilates class. So that's another good place where you can meet women, okay? Now, if you're more of a party guy, okay, you can stay on the party scene, but how about instead of going to a lounge or a bar or a nightclub, how about you go to a gala? Go to a gala. Go to a marriage ball. You're going to see the women out there in their prom dresses, in their gowns, looking like a million bucks. Go talk to some chicks there. That's where all the chicks is at. That's where all the fine girls is at. Fine girls are always at Met Galas and marriage balls and things like that because they know the dudes with money out there. So you'll find plenty of nines and tens and balls and galas. Why don't you go to some balls and galas? Guys, start going to local events. Start going to local festivals, okay? Start going to local wine tastings. There's a whole bunch of women there. Local fairs, local carnivals, local festivals, okay? Local concerts. I got a video that I'm about to upload soon when I'm talking about cheap date ideas where me and the shorty, we just went to a local concert. It was free. Not only do you meet a lot of fine women at these places as well, they're way cheaper. All these places are cheaper than upscale clubs and lounges. All these places are cheaper than upscale clubs and lounges. I want to put that out there as well, okay? Art. Women love art. Most women can draw. Most women can paint. Most women like anything that has to do with artsy. So start going to some sip and paints. Start going to some drawing classes. Speaking of the arts, start going to some poetry jams. Listen, you're going to meet all the females at the poetry jams. You kidding me? They're going to be in there snap, crackling, popping. Most of the poems going to be about wanting love. Half the women in there are going to be single. They ain't got no love, but they in a lovey mood because everybody's singing about being in love and finding a man. Everybody writing their poetry. They talking about smashing, and they're going to be turned on. Listen, a poetry jam is one of the most intimate environments, one of the best environments, honestly, in my opinion, to even meet a woman. Start going to some poetry jams, some local poetry jams in your area. Comedy clubs. Go to comedy clubs. 
You go to a comedy club, they're gonna be playing women at comedy clubs. This is a great piece, place to meet women as well. Believe it or not, believe it or not, networking or marketing events, especially for entrepreneurs. There's so many fine ass women who be entrepreneuring, okay? They got their nail business, they got their hair business, they got their consulting business, whatever business they got, okay? Interior decoration, event planning. You start going to events where you marketing your business, okay? Or you networking your business, you'll see a whole bunch of fine eligible bachelorettes and places like that as well. So guys, there are plenty of places to meet high quality, fine, eligible bachelorette women without going to a nightclub, without going to a lounge, upscale or not. Now I'm not necessarily knocking nightclubs and lounges, but I told you guys all the time, it's not the best place to try to talk to women. The music is blaring. You try and talk to her. She like, what? I can't hear you. She treating you like stuff is so cold. She like, what? You like, hold on, let me chat it. She can't hear you. You trying to talk to her in her ear, the music blaring, doots, doots, boots and cats and boots and cats. She can't hear nothing you saying. <laughs> to me, in the club, the best thing to do if you're gonna go to an upscale lounge or a club or a boat party or something like that is to bring the women with you. I've told you guys that before. Bring the women with you. I don't think it's a good spot to meet women. And if your ass can't get VIP, if you're not VIP, if you don't got a reserve table or something that makes you stand out from every other dude who's going to be in this upscale nightclub, lounge, or bar, you're done. You're done. If your ass ain't VIP, you ain't at those reserve spots, you're done. They're not going to be looking at you. They're not going to be interested in you. They're not going to be talking to you. And even worse than all that, and I want to leave you guys with this because this is the gym. I always save the gyms for the people at the end of the video. If you meet women doing things you don't like to do, you're going to have to deal with that as the relationship continues. Woo! Let it breathe. I repeat, if you meet women doing things you don't like to do, you're gonna have to hold that and deal with that when the relationship is as the relationship continues. So what happens when you not really like to do say he an introverted dude, he don't really go out like that, okay? And the things he likes to do, women typically don't like to do where he doesn't meet women in. So he takes IMS's advice. He goes to an upscale club, right? He goes to an upscale lounge. He meets a girl at the upscale club lounge, but the problem is whenever she's bored, what's she gonna wanna do? I'll let you know. Whenever she's bored, she's gonna wanna go to the club or the lounge. He doesn't really like clubs and lounges. So now we got a problem because whenever she's bored, she's gonna wanna go with her girls back to that place, but she's going back to that place without you. Now you're gonna be insecure because you know you met her, you bagged her at that same club or lounge. So someone else probably gonna be trying to meet her or bag her at that same club or lounge. Whoo, let that breathe. <laughs> Let that breathe. Somebody else is gonna be trying to talk to her. She about to go out in her high six inch heels, her little dress with her little booty cheeks out, her boobies gonna be all out, perked up with the push up bra. You're gonna be looking like this. Next thing you know, you're gonna be right back online looking up, should my girl be able to go out? And then Richard Cooper and, and all these dudes gonna pop up like, your girl going out, she a hoe, she a thought, she cheating. Now you insecure. Now you mad, now you pacing the house waiting for her to come home. She come home, she probably just had a few drinks with the girls, probably didn't even do nothing. Might have did something though, because again, you met her at the club. You mad, you start an argument. Next thing you know, you like, you going to jail now. Like the bus driver, you pissed off, you going to jail now. You done uppercutted the girl, now you in jail. Now you in jail. <laughs> like again, if you met her at a club, chances are, now she could have just been there on a whim, it could have been someone's birthday or something like that, but chances are, if you met a girl at the club, she frequents the club. If you bagged her at the club, that means she's baggable at the club, which means every time she goes to the club without you because you don't frequent the club, you gotta worry about robbing or she's gonna go and talk to somebody else. <laughs> like, to me, it's just not worth it. If you're not a clubber, why become a clubber? I repeat, if you're not a clubber, why become a clubber? Okay, assuming you do, which I already said is probably hard to believe, but assuming you did participate, participate in events where not a lot of women frequent it, then go somewhere, like I said, more artsy, more up your alley, where it's less likely, you know, that something crazy like that is even going to probably happen. <laughs> but to date a girl who's a clubber and you're not a clubber, that's a recipe for disaster. That's a disaster waiting to happen because she going to club without you. Listen, I done seen marriages fall apart because the girl was a clubber and the husband wasn't. So if you think she's going to stop clubbing for you, that ain't going to happen. That ain't going to happen. She's going to go club with her girls, and she's going to meet other guys, and she's going to go club with those other guys. It's going to be a disaster waiting to happen. Guys, listen, if you're not a clubber, you're not a partier, it is okay. You do not have to be to talk to women. Women have various interests. They do a whole bunch of different stuff. You can meet women a bunch of different ways, just like we have various interests, and we do a whole bunch of stuff, and we're not one-track-minded, okay? I am Alex, and I am out.